and I, I have worked in the better part of 30 different countries. The most exciting thing that I ever did was the four years I spent in and out of South Africa covering the transition from apartheid to democracy. And during that time, I traveled a great deal with Nelson Mandela and with other leaders of the freedom struggle in South Africa. And, and they would speak of their friends who had to leave South Africa because of the brutality of apartheid and had to go and make a life in other countries. And one of their friends, one of their comrades, someone that they knew well and always, and, and in fact, continue to value, is a Madisonian, a professor at the University of Wisconsin, the husband of the beautiful Marcy Grenady, and our dear friend and comrade in so many freedom struggles, please welcome the poet, Daniel Grenady. Thank you, John, and thank you all for being here tonight. I'm going to share with you three poems, not very long, so don't be afraid. <laughs> the first is entitled, Be Penitent. One deep, dark, mild, your rapacity drove you hard. You probed my secret places, drove your rigid cold steel rods into my spine, overruled reason, yelling threats and swank when you were warned to be patient. One deep, dark mile. Be proud. You sought the depths of my generosity, plunged one deep, dark mile, tore my gut to satisfy your glut, <laughs> made me bleed to feed your greed, drilled and drilled and drilled with reckless abundance, ignited your titanic the deep water horizon. How can you atone for your recklessness, clean up the vast ocean, restore the lives of those who died, the health of those who are sick and poisoned? One deep, dark mile, this oily guilt will stain your hands forever. Congratulations on winning the title Biggest Polluter. <laughs> Where 
have you not walked, Obama? The sign at the corner of my garden. The sign at the corner of my garden still stands tall, still proclaims loudly, it's time for peace, stop the war. The sign at the corner of my garden has been uh, packaged by the rains, the storms, the shin, and yet it still stands tall and proclaims loudly, it's time for peace. Stop the war. My back is bent. My children, my legs have uh, become the brunt of age. I have seen young men and young women die and dead, dying and dead. I have seen young men and young women come back home with missing limbs. I have seen young men and young women come back with twisted brains, dumped where they shared space with cockroaches. And I have asked, why? So says the sign, still standing tall at the corner of my garden. And one more time appeals to you, stop the war. It's time for peace. Thank you. Daniel Cornelius. Daniel Cornelius.